Anyhow, um, this is what I found. It looks pretty cool. Um, well, before I get too caught up in the details, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the objective. So what I'd like to do, um, hang on, I'd like to have a music generator for the chessboard. Oh, it's accessible right here. Let's see, does this work? So I'd like to do what's similar to what's done here but I'd like to generate um, the sounds on the fly with the range of dynamics and all kinds of sound effects and stuff. Um, so, I'm aiming to do something more ambitious than what's currently done. Uh, and so to do that, See, where did I leave off last time? Last time I was looking into MIDI web or web to MIDI or something, and um, it was the draft that was proposed in 2014 for a new way to for browsers to interact with MIDI input devices and incidentally make some noises. But, um, so, what I'm looking at doing here, uh, is I'm not going to use Web MIDI API or all that. Uh, instead, I'm going to see if I could use this MIDI JS thing uh, to generate sounds on the fly. Um, so... What? Decides which framework's best to use. Okay. You know, I'm going to make a separate directory here. Uh, cause this is going to be kind of intense, apparently. Apparently, there's all these files I'm supposed to get. Um, let's check this out. Uh, git clone this thing. All right, I forgot it makes its own directory. Um, Yeah, why don't I just rename that MIDI, because MIDI isn't necessarily music, it can be noises too. Um, Alright, so there's the README, which I should have been reading. Making life easy to create a MIDI app on the web. It includes a library to program syn synesthesia into your app. Really? memory recognition or for making trippy sound effects. Synesthesia must be a library and not just the human condition whereby you see numbers and smell sounds and things like that. Um, converts uh, uh, guitar, bass, drums, etc. into code that can be read by the browser. Supports multiple simultaneous instruments and perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Oh! Code example. Perfect. Uh, is this an HTML document? Yeah, basic.html. Raw. That was done. Let's back up. Copy link address. Uh, go over here. Uh, get the raw file. Um, Although, come to think of it, that file's got to be somewhere in this path anyhow. Um, find print 
grep basic.html. Uh, ln midi js examples. Let's just link that here. All right, so let me try that in my local instance. Uh, do I have a link to that? Nope. Well, actually, yeah, I do. But I have to get to the address bar anyhow. Assets, JavaScript, MIDI, basic.html. Okay, failed to load plugin web midi .js. So, where'd it go? Where, where's the dependencies for this? Maybe I just try to run the demo out of its home directory. Its directory is media.js examples, so let's just add that to the URL. Give this another try. Spiffy. You probably didn't hear that over the sound of my air conditioning unit. I know I didn't. I wonder why this thing keeps turning on. I'll just force it off so that I can hear myself think. Alright, but yeah, basic.html. Perfect. It's, it's a wonderful example. Um, Yeah, let's move midi.js here because apparently we'll figure out where to package all this stuff later. But, but yeah, um, don't need that open. Uh, okay, okay. There's going to be a ton of work here to get even the most basic things working, but um, LSD, command not found. I'm surprised I haven't made that typo before. Uh, play the note. Delay plus, oh, oh, okay. Nice. Play one note every quarter second. Uh, the MIDI note 50. How hard to hit the note 127. And then play it. Set volume. I'm not. Oh, that must be channel 0. Set that to 127. Uh, hit the note and release it. Now, I wonder, the comment here says play one every quarter second. I don't hear one every quarter second. I heard just one note. Um, so I'm not sure if that's intentional. But I mean, we got a note. Just don't know if that's what was intended. On success. So we got MIDI load plugin. I mean, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't expect delay equals zero to say we're going to hit this every quarter second. It's not like we're reloading the page that frequently, anyhow. Uh, on progress function log state progress. 
Oh, so the things that were logged are um, at zero seconds, some progress happened. We, uh, at, after a quarter second, it started to fade out or something, and I'm not sure, but it's a thing. Okay, so that's the most basic example. Um, there's MIDI player and Whitney Music Box. Let's check out Whitney Music Box. Ha! <laughs> well, check that out. I am amused. Okay, that's more than I need. Um, oops. And what was our third thing? MIDI player.html? I assume this is just going to take a file, whoops, and play it. Also, I kind of recognize this piece. Uh, Getting way distracted by that. Dang, this is addictive. Okay, that's cool. I want to see a source code. That's pretty damn cool. Um, or numeric keys one to five, huh? So, where's the thing that says play the note? Because, I mean, now we're getting into something modestly interactive. Um, where's the script? Loader.js? Uh, wait, no, that's... this is all midi.js files. Where's the game itself? Here's the game. Okay, where's the thing that says play the noise? Play pattern. Okay, so where's the sequencer? <sighs> where's the sequencer? Where's the sequencer? 
Oh. It just plays one note at a time. Well, that's not fancy. Okay, but where does it play the note? Where does it play the note? Yeah, I can't understand that. At least I'm not motivated to. It's not a good example to follow. Um, how to parse MIDI files and interact with the data stream. I actually like this music box implementation. Um, now, do these all have to be piano noises? Because that would be kind of annoying. Here, let me copy this, or clone this code. Before I get too far. Uh... Get clone this thing. Wow, that's a ton of sound fonts. I wonder where that would we'd want to host that. Um, it's not like images. Well, maybe they're pretty well compressed. Maybe they are like images in that sense that they don't consume overly much space. Um, this is cool stuff. It comes packaged with the sound font generator. It's unfortunately a little difficult to get up and running. Oh, I've installed some of those libraries before. Um, general MIDI sound fonts. Oh, excellent. Excellent, ha ha. Excellent, ha 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 ha. In the words of Mandark. Um, so, just wait for that to finish downloading. Um... MIDI.js <clears throat> into the music directory, um, which means over here in this address bar I'll need to reinsert music into the URL. Um, yep. So, oh, and I'm not interested in I don't think I'm interested in using Web Media API anymore. Yeah. Um, not interested in using Web Media API. MIDI JS is going to be the way to go here. Uh, so. Um, 
so now what? What do I want to do with this? I want to be able to play various instruments. Um, okay, so... Let's see, source... Okay, we're going to replace source equals uh, source equals and then the next three characters with source equals ad.js. Okay. And we're going to try reloading the index page which is going to be out here. Of course, nothing ever works the first time. It's no cause for panic. Um, sound font. Where would sound font be? Oh, right. Um, MIDI JS examples sound font. Let's try that. All right. Now, if I wanted to do more fancy things, uh, hang on. There's an oh, there's an og file or an ogvorpus formatted version of that. Huh. Okay. Can I hit the note softer or harder? Let's try softer first. I have no idea if that was anywhere near as hard or soft as the previous attempt. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely at least some variety there. Acoustic Grand Piano is one such instrument under there. Uh, there's synth drum. Um, and then separately, I got this MIDI sound fonts. What is this? Oh, I got all kinds of stuff. Holy moly. So do I want to use Fluid R3 GM, I guess as general MIDI, or Musin Kite, which appears to be all kinds of fun little stuff. Dang, that's a tough choice. Uh, we're going to go with Fluid Synth General MIDI just to start. Okay. Uh, yeah, searching for MIDI in this file was not the smooth, smartest move I ever did. Uh, okay, let's try that. Oops. Do I need to end that with a... Yeah, I do need to end... Um, hang on. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vim is... It's got a learning curve. 
Let me put it that way. Um, let's try this again. This is a tab. Yeah, this is a tab. We're just gonna type this out. Sound font URL. This followed by a slash. There we go. And for good measure, we'll do it that way. Uh, MIDI.js. I assume is only found up there. Okay, so that's just general MIDI acoustic grand piano. Now if I wanted to swap in a different instrument, say what's what's an instrument we all like? Harpsichord, harmonica. Where's harp? There's no harp. Oh, that's a shame. Um, is there a clarinet? Clarinet's kind of cool. Um, oh, hang on, I'm looking in the wrong directory. I was going to say, how do, how are we missing so many general MIDI instruments here? No, harp has got to be here, right? No. Um... There's bassoon, celesta, cello, choir, church organ, contrabass, orchestral harp. Okay, we'll try orchestral harp. Um, That's a pity. Where's my noise? Give me my jams. I want my jams. That's quite faint. Um, I mean, yeah, if I change this back to acoustic grand piano, we get the noise. No question there. If I try... Uh, orchestral harp. Um, let's try that. Yeah, I don't hear it. Maybe that instrument's broken. Um, wait, uh, yeah, Glockenspiel. That's a nice, that's a fine instrument. Let's try that one. I'm so confused. Surely that instrument's there. so confused. Why did that instrument work, but the others didn't? 
um, what's the deal? Okay, what would be another standard instrument that I would expect to work? Um, let's try bassoon or banjo or something. Dumped. Um, yeah. What gives? Why do only some instruments play and some instruments don't? Or why does only the piano work? I mean... Uh, what was the other instrument that was provided? There was synth drum. That's not going to be of very much help. Some of these instruments not have that note. I'm just, what could it possibly be? Okay, so you hear that for about two seconds. Although that, the fact that I'm seeing load one, load one here, is not instilling confidence. Um, yeah, let me take a look at the, hang on, MIDI load plugin. Is that even the same page that I'm loading here? See, so yeah, that, that is the source. It's got a single script element inside its body. And yet... Now I see two elements in the body. Uh, one of them defining what's a grand piano. And the other one is just the main routine. If I pick a different instrument, say, say Glockenspiel, there shouldn't be any challenge doing that, right? MIDI sound font Glockenspiel is the following sound. script says play the note maybe I've assumed incorrectly what zero means yeah I should read the documentation 
before assuming too much. Um, here's a well commented example. Instrument equals xylophone. Well, glockenspiel is a kind of xylophone, isn't that? No, it's not. It's a type of percussive instrument, as is a xylophone. Um, it's represented as instrument 13 in general MIDI. Okay, so let's just take this verbatim. Um, Where was that 13? Program change 0, comma, instrument. Okay. That's super annoying that I have to look up the instrument numbers. Uh, actually, wait, why don't I just copy this whole fragment of code and then uh, compare this inside the same buffer? Instrument xylophone callback, whatever, we'll say on success is this, is that's our callback. Um, channel is zero. I don't see that channel being used anywhere. Um, but we'll do it. Channel equals zero. It allows for 16 channels, uh, 0 and 15. Delays, okay, so note. Velocity, delay. Oh, that's how long to hold the note. Yeah, obviously somebody who wrote up the initial example here didn't know what they were talking about. Um, howdy. Welcome. Watch me do magic. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. forgotten anything. Oh, yeah, so they declared this variable called channel. Let's use it. Don't know why. I'm combining two code examples into a single example just so I don't go insane. Uh, don't even know this matters. Um, okay, so I've uncombined, or I've at least got one example now. And everything matches up braces-wise. 
And hopefully I've got a xylophone instrument inside this directory. Where was it? Does this have a xylophone? Yes, it does. So if I go reload this page. Hey, progress. So, in order to get a piano to play, I need to declare that it's instrument zero, right? Uh, to get a xylophone to play, I have to use instrument 13. So there's some translation inside the MIDI engine that knows which instrument is which. Yeah. Yeah, those, um, the text in blue there is called comments. Um, it has no effect on what actually gets executed. It's just there as a commentary. Uh, sometimes people give you code and the comments aren't right. Hard to imagine. Um, Let's see. Actually, why don't I copy this whole block? 41, 32. Uh, let's copy that. Uh, how do I paste again? Oh my goodness, how am I forgetting? Colon Y10 is is yank 10 lines. Colon D10 is delete 10 lines. Uh, what was it to paste? Okay, I've never seen that before. Um, Vim paste lines from buffer. How am I forgetting this? Copy, cut, paste. D is delete, Y is yank. Where's my paste key? Press P to paste before the cursor, or P to paste after. Wasn't I doing that? No. Yank 10. Shift-P, there we go. Uh, so there's no need for a secondary declaration here. Uh, don't need to adjust those either. But let's say we're going to load two instruments. How's that even going to work? Uh, I don't know if this can support more than one instrument. I should read up on what it supports before I go inventing things. Why can't this be simple? Um, yep, yep, yep. I mean, I guess I am doing kind of advanced things, so it doesn't have to be simple, but... Um, actually... Well, let me see. Maybe this MIDI player thing does yield clues about how to load all the instruments. Load the piano keys. Uh, somewhere in here, it's got to figure out how to do all of the loading. Um, okay, I got the source code for the wrong page there. Did I not? Uh,
I mean, okay, so they, they link you to a MIDI player. Um, oh, hang on. Example. Examples are perfect. Yes. Steal all the examples. Copy, paste, done. Okay, acoustic grand piano, xylophone. Um, okay. So we're going to change the channel in the instrument between these two. Um, do I actually want to change the note? I don't know. I guess having them play the same note would kind of blend into each other, so... Actually, let's do 47, the G above middle C, I assume. It makes, wait, no, that'd be 46. How do I get that confused? If we're saying 40's middle C, because I think that's what that one example said, um, then C, D, E, F, G, that's four white keys up, plus three black keys, so that's actually 47. I'm confused about that. Maybe my example lied to me. Oh, did I break my code? Incorrect identifier. Or unexpected identifier. Where would that be? Um, right. So for a code to run, it has to have delimiters like commas uh, in the right spaces. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, here, let's try something higher up. Okay, so we heard a piano noise. Um, is this a multi-channel MIDI player? Well, do enjoy watching the game. Hopefully I'll make some progress with this. There's always some hope. Um. Fine. 
Let me do it this way. I have no idea why that did anything different. So C4 is 60. Yeah, that's definitely middle C. Oops, that's not 48. Well, that should be 48 there. Oh! I queued those both up at exactly the same time. I just couldn't hear them because of all the interference. Okay, I get it. So that's a xylophone. Um, MIDI clock and spiel. Oh, come on. MIDI patch. Uh, just tell me what the general MIDI instrument codes are. Uh, so we got Glock. Glockenspiel's 10. So let's take Glockenspiel instead of Xylophone. And we're saying 13. We're going to say 10, and we're saying this pitch, we're going to change it to 67. Well, shoot. Bummer. Okay, we'll stick with our victory thus far. Ah, <sighs> kiraki. Um, do I need the note on and note off? Play it, release it. Okay. Um, let's increase delay for both instruments. And let's just set it to one. different notes. Okay, that was rather quiet. Right, let's pick one a few tones down from there. And try this out. One twenty seven, if I remember right, is pretty damn hard. Um, uh, let's say we're gonna hit it half as hard. It's still gonna make a ton of noise, but... Okay. Why do I have to set things in two locations? 
I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to, unless you're talking about me having to define instruments up here, and then separately define how I want to use them. Um, not entirely sure, though. Uh, that was weird how it recolored the source code. Um, yeah, this isn't one, this isn't middle C anymore. Curious. So we've got three arguments there: channel note velocity. Oh yeah, I guess I do have to let go of the note at some point. Um, I guess what confused me the most is just how long it took to load the page in the first place. Uh, there's a ton of scripts here. Maybe not all of them are used. Um, but yeah, I'm able to load a piano and a xylophone and play notes. Um, so... Let me cite uh, this URL here. Uh, just in case I ever need to go back to that. Although, I mean, I think I'm pretty good. I think uh gathered all I'm going to gather from this page for now. Create a package with all the general MIDI instruments. Is this the one that I was looking at earlier? Yes, that is. Um, with all 128 general MIDI instruments available with the CC3 license. Nice. Uh, MIDI files can be played, but it's not really what I want to do. I'll leave that open just in case it proves useful. I've already downloaded the sound fonts. Um, fork of MIDI.js with parallelized sound font generation. Is this the thing I have open in the... No, this is a separate project. Okay, let's just keep abreast of this thing. Um, wait. I'm so confused. Again. <laughs> Um, I thought they said parallelized sound font generation. As in, like, we're synthesizing sound fonts or what? Customizable. Oh. Well, 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 well. Uh, yeah, I did happen upon this page before. Um,. By the same author, but it's not there anymore. Um, not sure why not. But I'm not interested in using some flash things. I'm not, and the main thing I was interested in was the sound font. Um, but I guess that's base 64, and I don't necessarily need that. I just want to know, like, what are my sound font options here? 
And is there some kind of concept of generating sound fonts? What do I think about DOM 99? I have to admit I'm not a web developer, so um, you count me in the confused group there. I don't understand the significance of DOM 99. I mean, I, I like the idea of open standards, and um, basically everybody working together as teams to promulgate new and better standards. Um, and I've got feelings that, uh, or interpretations, that large corporations seek to invent separate standards, competing standards, just for the sake of competition. Um, and having control over their own thing. And... Okay. Yeah, well, let's take a look. First of all, I don't need to be following this thing anymore. Um... Down 99. Okay, 16 people like it, 15 people like it. Two people are watching it. Links me to this thing called documentation. It's a JavaScript framework to ease the transition between HTML and your program. Great. It's perfect. It's what everybody needs, and more. It's more than anybody could have ever hoped for. I have no idea what this is. Spend less time in development. Encourages you to link the UI and logic declaratively. Uh, only put markup in HTML, only style in CSS, and only logic in JS. Uh, uh, do I have to use NPM? Because using NPM is kind of a downer for me. Uh, but no, I'm sorry, there are other ways you can obtain it. So I don't have to use NPM. Um, comparison, like, can I compare this with jQuery and stuff? I mean, jQuery is for something completely different, but a lot of people do use jQuery to do fancy stuff. Um, yeah, I guess first impressions I've used jQuery before. I don't really do a lot of web development. I see... I've never touched Angular. Just... I've never used React. Um, so just for points of comparison, I mean, I really don't have much to compare it to. Um, I don't understand why people would do much in JavaScript if they could avoid it. But, I mean... Uh, it's funny that you come here and I, you see me doing web development and you instantly think, oh, he must be a web developer, he can like give some kind of educated comment. And I'm just confused. Like, I've done stuff 
a little bit of work with Scala, a little bit of work with Rails, and a little bit of work with Struts. Um, done some reading about other platforms, but um, I don't understand why somebody would code. I mean, I assume this is coded in JavaScript. Um, it just seems I don't understand why a developer would develop a library to do this when jQuery already exists and it's popular. I guess that's kind of my reaction is that I mean I'm sure it's great but um, I mean, I, this is kind of what I'm thinking about. Is a, it, I'm sure that that library DOM99 is a great standard, but um, I don't understand if jQuery already exists and largely fulfills a similar purpose. Maybe it's not as easy to use as DOM99 is easy to use, but I think for most of what beginners do with web development, jQuery is more than sufficient. Um, and I see, I mean, yeah, you're appealing to people who use it for more enterprise y sorts of applications. Uh, it has MIT license, so that's cool. I mean, it's got to perform well. It's cool. Um, I just don't understand, like, how is this going to gain traction when there's so such popular libraries out there already? Okay, jQuery encourages an imperative style of programmation. DOM99 allows you to program declaratively. Okay. I guess, yeah, that's a difference. Um declaratively and scripting things don't seem to go hand in hand as far as what I've seen thus far so but yeah I guess if you're really into like declarative um, programming style yeah I guess you could do declarative programming inside JavaScript Yeah, I guess it's not for everybody. That's cool that you did it, though. Um, and that you intend to do more with it, and hopefully um, you'll see more people embracing it. Um, hmm. One thing I hear so much about these days is people generating JavaScript. Um, so I wonder if there's a way to generate DOM 99. And that's probably a bit much to hope for.
but maybe that sort of thing would help it um, grow as a library. Let's see, does this still work? Man, that's quiet. Or at least my AC is pretty damn loud. Let's try that again. Oh, I forgot I changed... No, that is still xylophone. Um, here, let's add in a glockenspiel. Which we saw earlier as instrument 10. 52, 42. Um, let's pick a somewhat loud note here. Just get that glockenspiel to sound. That would be cool. Um, okay, well, let me try something else. Like, I'll try harpsichord. We so saw over here is instrument what? Seven? Yep. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, glad to help out, and best of luck with that. Clarinet seventy two.
Instrument equals program. So I don't know why some instruments aren't playing. So we got acoustic grand piano. I, mean, I thought I had more than just that instrument, right? I have clarinet. I had xylophone. And after they've all loaded, then they should start playing. Um. Maybe I have to pick some of the other first 16 instruments or something toward the top of this list. Uh, it's really limiting. Instrument zero is acoustic grand piano. Oh, this is one indexed. No wonder none of those were working. So I have to sub <laughs> Oh no! That's ridiculous. Zero through one twenty some numbering is used within the synthesizer. All controls and user facing things use one through one twenty eight. That's why nothing's been working. Okay, but why did my other instrument work? This xylophone thing. I picked 13. That's why it worked. Because I copied the code from somebody else who knew what they were doing. Yep. Well, that took me a half hour to figure out. Hopefully we all learned something from it.